Happy Tuesday. Choices. Back here again, thinking about choices and grateful to have choices. Grateful in general, but grateful to have choices. Grateful that I know that I have choices because for a long time, I think myself, for myself, I lived in this prison of my own making. I mean, the stories that I would tell myself were that of rigidity and of, of a fixed nature, like I can't do this and I can't do that. And I think that just speaks to the power of our minds because if, I, if I've painted myself into this box mentally, I, there's no way I'm going to get out, you know. When they when they tie a young elephant to like a small stake and he can't get away, and then that same elephant, as it grows up, is tied to the same st small stake, it doesn't understand that it can pull that stake out of the ground. It's that same confinement that I that I that I constrict myself with. This thing is so powerful, and I still get trapped by my own limitations that I set for myself. And you know, I, I think the more we exercise in pushing uh, our limits of what we, I, I, I don't know about what we're, like not, what we believe or what we, we accept in our lives, I think it changes everything and everyone collectively because there is a sense of this collective consciousness that also keeps us within the frameworks of what we can and can't do, you know, um, just from hearsay. Oh, you can't do that. No one can do that. And then somebody invents something that you're able to do that. You know, that's, for example, like uh, f uh, flying, you know what I mean? For the longest period of time, nobody could believe, no, we can't fly. We can't fly. And then the Wright brothers did it. They believed that they could, and they accomplished something that nobody thought they could. And then, then everybody's like, "Oh yeah, we can fly." <laughs> um, choices, choices. I get to choose what I do. I was a prisoner of my own making, and still continue to be at times. The beauty of starting anything over is that I can start anything over and make a new choice. I'm thinking in this particular fashion, someone wakes me up and I can change and think another way. It's just that it continue. I, I sometimes will default to this bad way or this maybe not, this unproductive way. It's not, I'm not achieving what I want. Someone can wake me up, some of my community, my friends, my family co-worker, partner, and I can be like, oh yeah, and I can practice to adjust, continue to adjust until the adjustment is the normal. And there's a, and that, the rate at which I adjust is different for everybody. You know, life isn't fair. I remember my dad used to be like, you know, just, you know, life isn't fair. But he was very pragmatic, and it, he would, that, just the very nature of him saying that would sometimes be like hypocritical, you know, because um, he was very black and white, but then he operated in his profession in the gray, you know, he was an, an attorney, so, and that is all about figuring out how gray you can make things. Um, yeah. I don't know. Cool choices. Life is not fair. If life were fair, I, I, I wouldn't be on, I wouldn't be doing this. I would probably not be alive if life were fair. Um, so that's all right. Acceptance. <laughs> Much love.